Hey guys, it's Koo from Garage Shim Reviews, and today we're doing a little bit of a maintenance episode. We often talk about different barbells and plates and squat racks to recommend, and if you like that sort of thing, make sure you subscribe because we have a lot of that kind of content coming. If you also just like these maintenance type of videos, let me know in the comments and we'll do more of them. This is gonna be a little bit of a collaborative video in that I'm gonna basically clean up some of this and our assembly Sam will also clean up some of it. But I'm gonna start by talking about just cleaning barbells in general. You don't have to clean your barbell. It's a nice thing to do, but there are many bars that are on here, including this one that I've done very little maintenance to. If you buy a really good bar, it should spin and it's gonna develop some surface rust, but overall, if you buy a nice coating or a stainless steel finish, if it's not bare steel, it's gonna work out pretty well. However, there are times in which you will want to clean them and there are different parts to clean. One is like the end sleeves where you gotta take these off and we'll show you how to do that, how to clean it, everything like that. The other is the knurling. And so I know I don't love like the look of surface knurl, but it doesn't really affect your use of it. You can't really feel it, but it is nice to have a clean bar. And so if you're spending a lot of money on something nice, you wanna keep it clean, and so today, we're gonna to show you how to do that. Just so you know, this bar is probably about seven years old, been kept in a garage, been used a lot. You'll probably see, there'll probably be some crap and gunk under here, but despite that, it still looks pretty good, and that's because I buy nice barbells, and you should too. Now, before we get to work, I'm gonna talk about the tools that you need. One is you're gonna need these. These are used to take off snap rings. Most barbells will have snap rings. Not all barbells that have snap rings. If you have a cheaper bar, it may be like a hex nut bar and you'll just need a hex head. But for most people, you're gonna need these. These ones, just so you know, I don't recommend them. It comes with like a pack with like all these adjustable attachments. They are prone to break. If you can get one that is just fully in there and you don't have to have all the adjustment tools, I'd recommend it. You're gonna need some sort of cleaning brush. There are companies out there that make one specific for bars. Hybrid is one of them that has a 360 bar. I think they work, they're helpful, but for most people, you can just get by with something at Harbor Freight or something cheap. So these are from Lowe's, it's a three pack. Most bars, I would recommend a nylon brush, but if you've got something that you really gotta get off, you can use stainless steel or brass. Most people above nylon, I'd recommend brass, and I'd only use brass if you're really trying to dig in there, and I wouldn't recommend using this on something like Cerakote because it will scratch it. In addition to that, you're gonna want some three-in-one oil. Three-in-one oil is gonna help the spin. It's also gonna help like just protect the coating on the bar. It's gonna help get some of this grime off, and it's very cheap and works very well. This is a penetrant, fast-acting version. You don't have to have that. You can use regular three-in-one. All right, let's get into the actual cleaning of the bar by starting on the sleeves. Sam, come on. What's up, guys? When I like to get my bar nice and clean, I like to use three-in-one penetrating oil. It works on time, every time. <laughs> All right, so whenever cleaning your barbell, there's a couple things you wanna be aware of. I also do not recommend these pliers. They don't work great. They exploded last time we used them, but they were the only pair Lowe's had in stock whenever we uh, decided to build out the inventory for this video. So key thing you're going to wanna focus on, most bars are the same whenever you're removing taking them apart to clean them. Uh, you're gonna have a snap ring, you're gonna have your end cap, you're gonna then have another snap ring. And in most cases, the sleeve is just gonna slide right off. There's some companies out there that do have some pretty proprietary stuff. Uh, however, this one's an American barbell. It should be pretty straightforward. So what we're gonna do is we're going to start with grabbing our uh, snap ring pliers. We're going to jump in here and get a hold of the snap ring. When doing this, you do wanna be a little bit cautious because these things can't just just explode right out of there, uh, hit you in the face, hit a friend, family member, your pet dog running around the garage. Also depends on kind of how much gunk you have in there as well. And don't be surprised if it takes you a few times to get it. You know, we've taken several bars apart here at GGR. Um, however, rarely do we still get these out on the first time. Man, these things are so bad. I'm gonna have to grab a flathead screwdriver. Sometimes that can help whenever taking snap rings off, especially whenever using just not great snap ring pliers. Uh, you can kind of wedge it underneath there and it'll kind of help to pop it out a little bit. 
There it went. Sorry, Coop. Oh, sorry, buddy. Literally flew into the next room. Coop is doing Pilates in there. All right, so now that we have the snap ring removed, uh, in theory, we should be able to take this end cap off and then there should be another snap ring behind it. Looks like with American Barbell, that is not the case on this one. So on this one, we actually just need to pull the sleeve back. Really nice thing about American Barbell is they do a great job of uh, lubing all their barbells before they ship them out. It can add a little bit less spin to it in the beginning of using the barbell. However, nice thing is, is like you know, Coop said earlier, this bar is seven years old. It still is plenty lubed. Makes for a great experience down the road as that bar is kind of breaking in the more you use it. There is some gunk right around here. This would be about where the sleeve ends. So this is kind of gonna be where a lot of the dirt and grime would come in through from down here. So this is honestly gonna be pretty easy to clean. It's just gonna wipe right off. We have some shop towels. Probably wouldn't recommend using your wife's washcloths out there. Just swing by Walmart, get you a 99 cent roll of paper towels, super easy. And we're just gonna go ahead and remove all that old gunk and grime. So one thing you'll notice is there's not a lot of rust or deterioration or stuff even like really sticking to this bar. Reason for that is this is a chrome shaft and sleeves are chrome as well. On some barbells you might you know, tear apart. You might find a lot of rust and corrosion. That's really where your nylon brush is gonna come in handy, um, or maybe even your brass brush as well, because you're gonna be able to get in there and really work it off. Great thing about this one though, is we can literally just wipe it down uh, and re-lube it and it's gonna be good to go, ready to go for round two. This is a good opportunity if you uh, haven't cleaned your end cap in a while, you want your bar to look like it's almost new. If there's a lot of like really stuck on gunk there, you can even use Dawn dish soap. It's a great oil and grease remover. Um, and that'll just kind of really help to clean it up a bit. All right, so now that we got everything cleaned up, all the gunks removed, you can still feel there is a little bit of lubricant left on there. It wouldn't last very long, what's left at this point. So we're gonna grab our three-in-one oil and we're just going to run it across the shaft there, and then just grab a, another shop towel to kind of work it in. Try to get some in this area as well. Anything that's gonna spin or have any friction or momentum to it whatsoever, you wanna try to make sure it's fully lubed. That way you just you know, don't have to do this again for another seven years. All right, so same way as it came off, it goes back on. You slide back, that back in there. It does stop at a certain point, so you don't have to worry about, uh, do I have it pulled forward far enough or not? Um, one thing I am going to do is there's just some grime where that snap ring was. So just getting that cleaned out on the sleeve. I'm even gonna grab the nylon brush here and kind of get in there a little bit. Awesome, would you look at that? Looks brand new. It's gonna spin like it's brand new too. Like I said, we're just doing things in reverse, so. All right, so snap ring back. Cool, got the snap ring back in place, and that's it. Probably take you 10 to 15 minutes most of the time to clean your barbell. All right, now that we got this side put back together, super simple, you're just gonna repeat the same steps on the other side of the barbell. Coop's gonna come at you next with how to clean the shaft. We're gonna use pretty much the same tools we'd use on the sleeve but we're gonna use it on the shaft. You will require probably some more elbow grease because this is obviously seen the elements. This is enclosed. So as you can see, like there's a bunch of surface rust here. Will we be able to get it all off? Maybe, maybe not. You can get it all off, especially if you use something like on the end of a, like a drill or something, there are ways to like go deeper into this, but we're just gonna do handheld. And the first thing I'm gonna do is really just see if there's anything on here that I just wanna clean off. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you turn the shaft and get the top of this too. And then I'm just gonna take some three in one oil and I like to do it up top, kind of like this. Oh my goodness. Woo! You wanna make sure it penetrates all the way in and there's gonna to have to put a decent amount to get on here. This is gonna drip, so we put cardboard down, but you can also put a towel down. Okay, so oil the entire knurled section here gonna focus obviously where the, most of the hands have been. You can tell I don't do a ton of snatches. And then I'm just gonna start working it in. Now, this is a nylon brush. You're gonna wanna go in multiple directions. If you just like go with the grain, it's not gonna do as well as if you go opposite. And I can see like in the air, I don't know if you can see it on a camera, but there's just stuff flaking off. There are some sections here 
that personally, I don't mind doing this. You may want to be careful depending on how many barbells you have and what your pension is for damaging your barbell, but I've used brass bristle brushes. Brass, say that five times fast. Brass bristle brushes. I've used brass bristle brushes for a long time and my bars are fine, so I don't mind using them. And you can see it's starting to just like coat it there. So I'm gonna come back in and clean that off. She is looking significantly better. Circular pattern also works, just like brushing your teeth, but you're brushing your neural. In fact, I never brush my teeth, but I brush my neural twice a day. Getting a shoulder pump in the right. Wanna make sure I'm not having any muscle asymmetry, so going to the left. I mean, look at that, look at that. That was on your bar. I'm fine with that. If I really wanted to get in there, you could just go absolutely ham with some of these. If you're not making the stank face while you're doing it, you're not doing it hard enough. Mustache adds five horsepower. Finisher with a nice coating of oil. Rubber in all the way. She's looking good. She feels good too. Repeat, obviously, same thing like we did on the sleeves. You repeat on the other side. Now you're gonna have some bars out there that are gonna look much worse than this. If your bar is just so corroded, one thing I've done in the past, and I did this with this bar right here, which has patinaed again because it's bare steel, but it was red rust, is I placed it in a bath of vinegar. That will remove all the rust. And then you can just start from scratch. So if it's really bad, that's one way to do it. One question you may have is like, is taking my sleeve off my bar void my warranty? There are probably some bars out there that it does void the warranty because maybe they have an end cap that's like really hard to take off or something like that. But most reputable barbell companies, they're not gonna have any problem with you cleaning the inside of your sleeve and they shouldn't. So you shouldn't have to worry about if you take the sleeve off, it's gonna hurt you know your warranty because a lot of these barbells do have lifetime warranties and cleaning the shaft again, that's not gonna you know, hurt your warranty. But this is a way to clean your barbell shaft and sleeve. Is this something you do on the regular? I would recommend, honestly, probably just brushing your shaft off once a month maybe if you're using a lot of chalk and it's like CrossFit. Probably wanna do it more often, just depends on you know, what's happening. I don't think you need to spend a ton of time cleaning your bar. I'd rather you spend more time training. So maybe do that. But this is Coop from Garage and Reviews. This has been Sam as well from Garage and Reviews. And we will see you next time.